Alright guys, I don't typically do videos like this, um, I haven't, I don't think, maybe once or twice, but um, I've seen a couple other YouTubers make videos about this video, and I kind of wanted to see it for myself because it looked kind of bad from like the small snippets that I saw of it, and I wanted to review it myself. So this video is old. It's like a five-year-old video or something like that. So I'm sure these girls have learned um, from their mistakes and have learned more by now. But um, the video looked pretty bad from what I saw. So I wanted to look o look it over and see what it was like. So um, this will be a split screen video, but um, hopefully my camera isn't the best at this type of stuff. So let's just hope it'll pick up well. So she got a new bridle and breast color. Awesome. They got pretty. It is beautiful. Yeah. Everybody loves the bling. It's like the new range and equine there. There's the breast color. The bridle. barn doesn't look very safe to be riding in. There's a lot of junk in there. Look how fancy that is. Fancy tack on a fancy horse. Fancy tack on a fancy horse. That means you're a great rider, in case you didn't know. If you have nice stuff. Apparently nice these days. Stuff right there. So the horse looks like it's tossing its head a little bit. She looks like she has really hard hands. Here you have it. Jesse's new tack. Back her up. Back her up. Okay, I think this girl is kind of nervous. And to me, it seems like she's transferring her nerves to her horse. And her horse is kind of showing that. But it doesn't look like her horse knows how to back up very well. Like, kind of, but not very well. Back up. Ooh. God. Okay, so, if my horse would have just done that out of nowhere, I probably would have gave him a little smack also. But, the horse doesn't, I don't think he knows what she wants. And... Her attitude is kind of shitty. Like she's just pushing the horse more and more and more when he doesn't know what she is trying to ask. Fancy, back up. God. Okay, the whole like God isn't gonna help anything. She has a crappy attitude, no, Jesus. Up, fancy. Do you need my spurs? Yeah, that's gonna help, your spurs. Ah, tie down. And now you're gonna put a tie down on, that helps. Fancy's good. Just what you need. You don't have a nose band. Okay. So, I'm not going to say this girl's like a total idiot. If my horse was doing that and my horse knows how to back up, I wouldn't mind giving them a couple smacks because that right there is just like disrespectful behavior. So, um, but her horse doesn't look like it knew how to back up very well. So, I understand why she would want to tie down because like the average person thinks like oh I need to keep them from rearing and getting their head up when really what she needs to do what I would do anyway just at first glance like this whenever the horse rears up I would make them just trot a whole bunch of circles or a lope if the 
the area didn't look big enough but if it is make them work work hard and keep doing circles with them try backing them up again if they rear again trap more circles go both directions make them sweat and make them work really hard and keep trying it and if she gives you one step backwards just stop stop and pet her to a good girl and then she kind of clicks like oh that's what she wanted me to do just take a step backwards and I mean smacking her and be like oh my god stop like that's just a shitty attitude like your horse doesn't give a crap about your attitude and you just being a bitch and being like oh I'm on top of you you're gonna do whatever I say is kind of sending the complete wrong message and complete wrong um, vibe and what do I what do you call it like I don't know just vibration to your horse and then your horse is gonna be tense and not gonna want to listen to you that's for sure like this girl did um, but yeah that's an old video I guess that has just started blowing up and I just figured I would check it out so I can understand her from like a beginner standpoint if she hasn't had a lot of lessons on training a horse um, she looks like she just rides horses she doesn't work with them like and teach them so I would go a different way about teaching this horse to back up but um, she was also very angry like when she got off and was gonna put the tie down on you could see her she was breathing heavy she was talking quickly and she um, you could tell she was angry and Whenever you get angry or frustrated or your patience is low with horses, I mean, I have those days too all the time, but when that happens to me, I stop riding or I stop training for the day because um, you transfer that energy to your horse and you get results like that. Hi, Chessie. So whenever that happens to me, I just stop for the day because I know I'm going to end up taking it out on my horse. And that horse could have been a lot worse. I mean, I didn't think the horse was that bad. If the horse doesn't know what you're talking about and is fed up with you smacking them, then yeah, they'll give you a little rear. But um, yeah, I think her energy and her attitude, she should have just stopped riding right there and taken the horse to somebody who is a trainer or has dealt with this before to teach this horse how to back up. So that's kind of my opinion on it. And. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, <laughs> but yeah, so hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys later.